Hey, Eric here from LEDGrowLightsDepot.com. Today we're diving into the new Floriflex 700 watt full spectrum LED grow light. Stay tuned for a full review and my final thoughts on this light. Hit the like button and subscribe and let's do this. The Floriflex 700 watt arrives in a compact box weighing just 15.4 pounds. Inside you'll find everything needed to get the light up and running. Eight light bars, structure bars, a power supply, cables, and all necessary hardware. When unboxing, I immediately noticed how lightweight the individual bars are. This is one of the most lightweight and thin profile fixtures I've ever handled, making assembly a breeze. No tools are required for assembly and it can be put together in just a few minutes according to Floriflex, although it took me about 10 minutes to put together. The assembly process is straightforward. If you want a step-by-step -step guide, check out the link in the description to watch the assembly video. Once assembled, you can use the included wire hanging hardware to hang the light. However, the light doesn't come with ratchet hangers, so you'll need to purchase those separately. Let's take a closer look at the diodes. The Floriflex 700W uses a full spectrum design that will support your plants from seed to harvest. The spectrum is composed of custom 3000K warm white, 5000K cool white diodes, and Osram 660 nanometer deep red diodes. Additionally, the white light diodes contribute a bit of far red to the spectrum. With its 8 bar design, numerous diodes are spread across the entire 4x4 footprint, ensuring maximum light uniformity over your plants. The Floriflex 700 watt draws around 735 watts on 120 volts at the wall, but can also be operated on 240 volts and 277 volts AC. My measurements at 114 volts showed a wattage draw of 746 watts and 6.55 amps. The Floriflex 700 watt light output was tested at 1,890 micromoles per second, boasting a PAR efficacy of 2.7 micromoles per joule. The intensity can be adjusted using the onboard dimmer with settings at 100%, 70%, 50%, 30%, and off. Additionally, it features 0 to 10 volt dimming capability, allowing you to connect most third party controllers via the RJ ports on the driver. The design also supports daisy chaining multiple lights for larger grow setups. Expect a lifetime of over 50,000 hours from this light. The Floriflex 700 watt comes with a 5 year standard warranty and is both DLC and UL certified. This 700 watt LED grow light measures 40 by 40 inches and is designed to cover a 4x4 area for flowering and a 5x5 area for vegetative growth. For optimal flowering, hang or mount the light at a height of about 12 to 24 inches. During the vegetative stage, dim the light to 50% at these same heights. This LED grow light ensures deep canopy penetration and uniform PAR distribution. According to Floriflex's PAR map, the light delivers a maximum PPFD of 1575 at 12 inches. The readings look pretty good, but you may want to hang the light higher for better uniformity and less intensity if you're not using CO2. Let's take a look at my PAR measurements in a 4x4 AC Infinity Grow Tent. Keep in mind that the front of the tent was open while I took these measurements, so the actual readings will be a bit higher, up to 50 PPFD or so in some areas, but overall this gives you a good idea of the light's intensity and uniformity. Alright, the first reading's at 36 inches, where we're hitting about 830 PPFD. In the back looks like just over 600, corner just over 500, and this other side around 550 or so. So back to the center and just gonna kind of move it around so you can see what um, about the average PPFD is. And it looks like somewhere around like 700 plus. And again, this is at 36 inches. All right, next reading at 24 inches, over 1100 PPFD in the center. Moving to the back, about 800. Corners, about 525 and this other side, just under 700. And back to the center and moving it around, you can see that it's probably around 900 in most of the places. Moving towards the center gets, you know, to about 1,000 PPFD. Okay, and 18 inches, about 1330 PPFD in the center. Going to the back, it's going to drop to about 830. Corners, looking like 520. And this other side, about 850 or so. So over 1000 PPFD in most of the tent here, it's just the sides and corners where it drops down quite a bit. 
but again, well over a thousand PPFD as you move around the tent and back to the center. Okay, and last reading's at 12 inches, just under 1600 PPFD in the center. Moving to the back, staying over a thousand PPFD, just over a thousand in the back. Corners looking like just under 500. And this other side, I didn't get a good reading there, about 500, 600. So pretty intense at 12 inches. I'd recommend hanging this light at 18, maybe 24 inches if you're not using CO2. If you're using CO2, 12 inches would be a good hanging height. All right, that wraps it up. Overall, this is an outstanding LED grow light, especially at the price of $374.99. At 735 watts, this equates to only 51 cents per watt. For just over $1,000, you can get three commercial grade lights from an American company with a five-year warranty and DLC and UL certifications, which is quite amazing. The light output is perfect for a four x four area. It's also easy and enjoyable to assemble. I highly recommend this light for both commercial growers and home growers who want performance, efficiency, and reliability at a reasonable cost. To learn more or purchase this fixture, check out the link in the description below and get an automatic 5% off this light at checkout. So what do you think about this light? Let me know in the comments. And support our channel by liking this video and subscribing for more LED grow light content. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Happy growing!